All right, back again. Today we got out the old Victor Saturn, and I figured we could put in this game here. Dino Shokutaku. So, let's pop that in and play some of that. Now, if you're into uh, survival horror games, and you haven't had a chance to play this one, I totally recommend it. This is a really fun game. It's really wild, it's freaky, it's got that creepy feel to it. Um, it's one of my favorites. And uh, it's basically um, as probably as realistic as they could make it for the time. Um, now it might look a little bit dated, but still, it's easy to get drawn into. Because the uh, story is a little bit long here at the beginning, what we'll do is we'll skip on a bit. The gist of the story is you're Laura, and you're the daughter of uh, a very prestigious doctor. And what happens is uh, your mother is, has been murdered um, some years back, and uh, your father uh, goes kind of insane and starts killing everybody. Um, he works for the hospital, he kills everybody in the hospital. And you're wondering what's happened with the whole family and w what happened to your mother so you're trying to find out about her death. And uh, your father appears in different kind of shapes, kind of warning her not to go into the hospital because she might get locked in there. And uh, that's how the mystery kind of continues. It was a really, really kind of eerie game. A lot of fun though. I don't know about you, but that would be a good reason enough just to turn around and walk out. There are different endings to this as well, and uh, you can have a good ending or a bad ending, a uh, perfect ending. There's, uh, there's all sorts of cool stuff about this game. She's basically warped back into the past. So you can move around the room here, and uh, by pressing up and left and right on the D-pad, uh, you can uh, explore the area. But um, the thing about this game that makes it really kind of eerie is the uh, background sound effects and uh, that real first-person perspective. The game will also only allow you to go in certain places depending on the location of the camera and location of the person. So in some cases you can't uh, turn left and right when you want to, you kind of got to follow a, a zigzag type path. If you've ever had a chance to play uh, Fatal Frame, as it's known in Japan, uh, or as it's known in the States, or Zero, as it's known in Japan. It's another eerie game, but really well designed, the way that they did it. They did it. stuff. 
have. Now, if you press your two uh, right and left tabs, you'll notice that you have some uh, things in your inventory. This here is a small mirror, and uh, it's uh, a gift that she got from her mother. And if you look at it, it'll show you a hint to the next area but it'll also crack the mirror one time. And uh, it takes about three times, and then the, uh, the mirror shatters, so you won't have any more uh, hints. So you really gotta use it wisely. Try and figure out as much as you can. expecting that. <laughs> it's a really well designed game for its time. here and the interesting thing is I want to go over to this fireplace but I can't from this angle so I what I have to do is walk back and this is where the camera angles can be a little bit tricky and your positioning has to be pretty um, precise it has to be in a specific spot or else you won't be able to go to different areas If you have a chance and you haven't had a chance, um, if you have a chance and you haven't played this game before, I would totally recommend picking it up, especially if you're into like this uh, kind of survival horror game. I think the other thing that gives it that really freaky feel is the fact that you can't go as fast as you want. You have to go at the pace of the game. Shokutaku look like for the uh, Sega Saturn, and uh, it's a great game. Totally recommend picking it up if you have the chance, and especially if you're into survival horror games and you haven't played this one yet. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching.